Hi everybody, welcome to Kathy's Beautiful Blooms. I'm so glad to be back with you today. I'm gonna make a beautiful Christmas basket and show you how you can do it step by step. Let's just jump right in. I went to uh, Michael's and I got some branches and I this was a big branch and it had a bunch on it and I just cut them all apart here. That's what I have here. And I got some stems and the snowy pine cone with the pine is so beautiful. When I see this kind of stuff, it just makes me want to get some hot chocolate and get into the Christmas spirit right away. And I got this, and I'm not sure if I'll use those. I just fell in love with them. Sometimes you'll fall in love with things, but it won't really go with what you're doing. So just go ahead and buy it and put it aside, and you might think of something else to do with it. I got this beautiful glittery rose gold rose, and it's so pretty. I was thinking about making it my focal point, but... I might end up making this my focal point. We'll see how it goes. And I got some beautiful, you can never go wrong with holly berries. And I'm loving red and gold for Christmas this year. I think that's gonna be my colors. And here's two other um, items that, these gold leaves, I fell in love with those. And these, aren't those just so beautiful? I just really, I just don't know if I can make it work in what I'm doing, but, and I'll just put them over here with this. And I definitely will use it for something else if I'm not able to incorporate it into our beautiful Christmas basket. I got this basket at Michael's. It was retails for $12.99 and I got it for 40% off. And if you sign up for the rewards, uh, you get an extra 10% off if you're like me, a senior citizen. And that's always fun to see that extra discount on there. Okay, I have a lot of glitter here on my desk. And I'm just gonna move, and I got these little jingle bells, something else I fell in love with, but I'm gonna try to make those work because I really love those. How's everybody doing today? The weather is just so perfect, it feels so good, and puts you in such a great mood, or the best mood that you can be, considering whatever your circumstances might be. And I hope everybody's doing wonderful. And I put some dry foam in here and it's very tight. It's, it's packed in there super tight. It's not gonna fall out or anything. And let's just jump right in. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and layer the outside with this beautiful greenery. See the cute little pine cone? Can you see it? Isn't that adorable? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just start layering this in, just like that, toward the outside of my basket. And what you do on one side, Remember how if you watch my videos or attend my classes in Katy, Texas, uh, you know that I always say what you do on one side, do on the other side. My floral, um, my Facebook group is Floral Class with Kathy, K-A-T-H-Y. If any of you make anything or read or watch any of my video tutorials and you make something, please send me a photo there because I would be ecstatic to see it because I'm so proud of you guys. Thank all of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. So I'm going to put a piece over here toward the outside. I just love the little handles on this basket also. So that's all I'm going to do right now is just go ahead and layer the outside of my basket and make it look really festive. And this uh, greenery has some uh, silver glitter in it, sparklies. And this is a big piece. I'll just put that right down in the middle. See how pretty it's already starting to look. And I'm going to put another piece here. And I'm gonna go back on this side. And that's quite a few pieces in one, but I think I can fit that right there. And this one has a lot of the pine cones draped down. That's so pretty. And I have um, this piece here is gorgeous. And I'm just gonna put this in on the side at an angle. And that's gonna be um, so pretty right there. Look how pretty that is. And I have, um, I have these uh, dark green with pine. I'm gonna put it on this side here, and then I'm gonna bend it down a little bit because I like these flowing kind of down. That makes it look so nice. Okay, and because this is a little pine cone, has snow on it, and I have snow on this side, so you know I'm gonna put some snow over here on this side, and I'm gonna just go right under my handle for this one like that, and stick that straight down in there like that and that balances it out really nice for me. Okay, I have a few extra pieces, so I'm just gonna drape those over like this. And you can make this cute, cute little basket in no time at all. I bought um, a couple of these little baskets and 
um, another basket that I have like this one. I'm going to make a fruit basket with um, pears in it and I'm going to uh, wrap it in the shiny gold foil and I'm going to put my cellophane wrap around it and I'm going to use this. Um, I have some real pretty uh, gold ribbon. Well, I had some real pretty gold ribbon here somewhere and I'm going to uh, make a beautiful bow and make my fruit basket out of that. Now see how gorgeous this is? I'm trying to decide right now, do I want to make this my focal point or this? So I'm going to try both ways, okay? So I would just, you don't really put your flowers in straight up and down. You'll want to kind of put them in an angle like I did this one. And then I have one over here and one over here. So I would go kind of deep down at a bit of an angle with this one. And I don't want it to be taller than that one. I want it to be a bit shorter than that one. And then I have my holly berries and there's too many on here. So I'm just going to cut a few of those off because I don't want it to look gaudy or anything like that. I always like my things to look classic and elegant. So yeah, these are going to, these are going to accent it so pretty. Yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and go with this because I'm loving this. It has such a wintry feel. But let's just go ahead and see how this would have looked. Because this would look good also. At an angle right here. See how pretty that is. But I am going to use this for something else. And be sure and uh, stay tuned because you'll see the video what I'm going to make with, uh, with all of this beautiful material. But I do love this. And it's going to accent with the snow theme I have going on. So I will go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm going to accent with these holly berries. Anywhere I have a little base one over here so I have to put one over there there's so many on each branch you can just clip those right off because you don't need it a big bulk of them okay I have some over here so of course I'm gonna put some over here somewhere kind of low down there like like so and I have two and I always work in odd numbers so I'm gonna put another one and I might just put that one right in the center right there right in front of my berries and let's see now I'm just gonna go through I'm gonna look at my basket it's already looking so pretty and I'm just you don't want your mechanics showing so I'm gonna fill up any holes that I might have and this is just gonna be so beautiful on your table and it's low enough everybody can see each other to have a conversation and it's so festive it's definitely gonna make you whip out the hot chocolate and you can get the Hershey's cocoa and you can make that homemade with uh, milk and a little bit of sugar and some vanilla and it's gonna be perfect okay let me see do i have anything out of place and really that is all that you do and um that's our beautiful basket right there it's so festive and because i love these bells i am going to go ahead and i'm going to put these in right here and i'm going to just drape those down like right there you see can y'all see them and there you have it. That's all you need to do to make your beautiful Christmas basket. And it only takes a few minutes to put it together. And I have a little bit more greenery. If I have any open spots or anything, I can just go ahead and put those in there. If I see anything I need to fill a hole with. And I have a few more of these if, if I need them. But I, think, I don't really think I need anything else. I think it's absolutely perfect. Thank all of you for liking, watching, subscribing, and get ready because next week I'm going to have a ton of new videos coming out, and it's going to be so fun. I always recommend you go to the store, watch the video, go to the store, get your materials, come back, and put, turn it back on, and do it step by step with me. And if you see me doing like something like that, it's um, it's for the steel photo for my thumbnail, okay? All right. Well, thank all of you for watching, liking, and sub subscribing. I appreciate and I love each and every one of you. And I thank you so much. And get ready for some fun tutorials coming up. So stay with me. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.